love, sex, slander. Now, even though Much Ado About Nothing was written 400 years ago, Shakespeare has captured raw human emotion in a way that is still riveting today. A documentary? Exactly. What's new? What's new? Yes. What's happening? You have given them a video camera and the license to talk to each other openly about sex. That's growing up too fast. This isn't our place. Well, it's our place to show them that classic literature still applies. This isn't our place. Mr. Turner, in the matter of sex, I prefer they make no connection until they're out of our jurisdiction. Well, don't you think that thinking's a little antiquated, George? I prefer to think of it as classic. Well, it's just a little project. I think it'll be okay. Mr. Feeney. I don't want to know. <laughs> Topanga, how do you feel about sex? Me? Sex? Great anywhere, anytime. Sex is just a goal. What do you have to say about men and women and, you know? Okay, sex is very beautiful, especially within the confines of a loving, monogamous relationship. Love is the most amazing, rare, and precious thing in the whole world. Have you ever fallen in love? Five times a day. Thank you, Star. Okay, Harley. Do you have an opinion on love and sex? Yes, my opinion is be careful with that valuable equipment. What's more important, love or, you know, the other thing? Love. Love is the most important thing in the world, Matthews, and love is the only thing that makes sex worth having. Have you ever been in love? Not yet, but it's something I'm hoping for, and I know it'll happen. So, have you ever had... You know, the other thing, because you said you've never been in love. And if you had, you know, and you weren't in love, then you know must not have been any good. Oh. <laughs> Hi. I'm a romantic guy, so to me, love is very important. And you could also be surprised to learn that I'm currently available. Yeah, good. And if this was a dating service, I'd care. Sex is like voting. It's a privilege that you may choose to exercise when you're old enough. You don't want to vote for somebody you haven't known for a really long time or have strong feelings for because you may be stuck with that person for quite a while. Stop. Stop. Rewind. Listen. We have to make cuts on this. Topanga, how do you feel about sex? Great anywhere, anytime. Good morning, sunshine. <laughs> Breakfast is on the table. Today we're having a big bowl of... You've got a lot of explaining to do. Who of you spent the night unsupervised on school property? Oh, Mr. Feeney, what do you think happened? Oh, my God. Both dismissed for the rest of the day. <laughs> attitudes about sex have not changed for 400 years. You gave them an assignment about sex and then you left them unsupervised. Yes, because I trust them. And was your trust justified? The assignment isn't in yet. A word? Uh, Mr. Feeney, you uh, here to watch the tape? No, actually I'm here to express my surprise that you're going to watch the tape. Any chance you might rethink that decision? All right, class. Mr. Feeney's of the opinion that our discussions about sex and love and gossip and slander can only lead to more sex and love and gossip and slander. I have to say, so far, he's right. What is the most important advice you have for teenagers about sex? Be careful with that valuable equipment. <laughs> I think sex is part of a special kind of love that you feel for a very special person. Love is the most important thing in the world, Matthews, and love is the only thing that makes sex worth having. Sex is part of a special kind of love. Love is the most amazing, rare, and precious thing in the whole world. That you feel for a very special person. Hi. Look, I didn't want to be in this documentary because I didn't have that much to say about sex and all. And the reason I don't have that much to say about sex is because I don't have a lot of experience in that area.